Okay, so this week, since it's always been, it's always Tales of Hell, Tales of Hell, uh, Canary production stuff, filmmaking stuff, always, 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 this past several months, practically. Um, I'm going to actually take you through our garden area, because we really haven't gone through here yet, and I'd like to show you guys just a little bit, so that's what we're going to do this week, starting right now. Okay, as you can see, past the trailer, where the boat used to be. Remember that boat that we cut down months ago? Well, here's what's left of it. Not much. It's gonna be gone soon, in the next couple weeks, thank goodness. So let's first go to these corn Vs. And see, we got some ears of corn growing here. Small ears, but let's see if it's Kind of smell them, they're actually smelling pretty fresh right now, so I'm sure they'll be able to pick soon. And here we have a cucumber vine. Get the cucumbers growing here all over the place. Now, this is a neighbor's, neighbor's garden, and they have cucumbers that they said we could pick them. We haven't picked them, so they're starting to get overripe. And then over here, a lot of this we've already used, like you see these, these, this was like a lot, used to be a lot of lettuce uh, here, different lettuce leaves. Now there's not much left, a lot of it's going to seed, which is fine. If it's a seed, we'll plant, plant it next year, and we don't even have to worry about buying it. And then here we have some um, more tomatoes flowering. Let's see, do we have any? Yeah, we have a huge green pepper right here. I think I can show it. There it is. See, there's a pepper. And I don't think any more peppers on this plant, though. I think we only produce two, which is a shame. Just tomatoes up to our ears, especially like the small cherry tomatoes. We have some aromas, too. You see, there's a, there's a aroma that's ripe and getting caught in a cobweb. Let's see here. Not too many ripe tomatoes this time. And then here's a berry plant of some kind. We have no idea where this came from. Just shot from the ground. So we'll see how it goes. As you can see, these tomatoes still aren't ripe yet. I'm going to get there. They'll probably be ripe in the next couple of weeks. And then more cucumbers way over there. And then some huge corns. Corn stalks, stalks are almost as tall as this tree. <clears throat> but there's no ears yet growing out of these, although I'm sure it will happen soon. Over here, I know we had zucchini and more cucumbers somewhere. <clears throat> and then right here, this is my favorite, favorite herb. This is called, um, uh, amethyst basil. It's really good tasting basil that you can just take, cut, and like I've mixed it with uh, our veganaise. Um, you can just put it with pasta. I mean, it's just such a good tasting basil type herb. And over here we have mint. We have a lot, a lot of mint growing out of the ground here just spreading everywhere. And I was warned by a friend that if we don't get it out of the ground into a pot, it's going to like take over the whole garden in a year or two. So, I'm going to make sure we don't do that. We'll, we'll get it transplanted and make sure it doesn't spread. A lot of mint. And over here is our herb garden. There's corn stalks growing all on here, but inside here we have just regular sweet basil. Um, whatever else is growing here. I mean, we had parsley different types of parsleys, uh, thyme, some other things, but everything's just basically uh, yeah, some Italian parsley. Ooh, we have some onions growing too. And this is 
This looks like uh, some type of squash thing, probably a zucchini. And we have some more corn growing there, and we're gonna have lots of corn probably in the next few weeks. And as well as some herbs growing along the side here. So that's basically what our garden is for this year. Probably we'll build another raised garden over there this fall. And so we can have it for next year if we're here next year. We'll see. And uh, keep on expanding. So yeah, that is that. And I'll see all of you next week.